Hi guys, I'm Becca and I'm a second year student nurse at the University of Nottingham. Welcome back to my channel and if you haven't seen a video of mine, then welcome. This video has been highly requested and seeing as it was results day last week and a lot of you have just found out that you're going to university, I thought this is probably the best time to upload this video. So I am going to upload a uni haul, everything that I have brought to university with me for my second year and also what I had in my first year. I have a little bit more than I did in my first year so I'm just going to talk about a few of the essentials and things that I absolutely could not have lived without in my first year. I thought the best way to show you all of the stuff in my bedroom was to bring you around my bedroom, take you off the tripod and take you around. So I'm going to show you all of the essentials that I think every single university student needs in their bedroom. Firstly, let's start with what's on the bed. So obviously the most obvious thing that you can see is I have a duvet and a duvet cover. I bought them completely new for university as well as all the pillows. I like to sleep with two pillows and my bed at home has four pillows on so I got four pillows for my bed at uni as well. Also you will need a sheet and also underneath the sheet which you can't see is a mattress protector. We are living in a student house and people have lived here before. I don't know where they've been and stuff so I just got a mattress protector. I don't know who's been in the bed and stuff so when I moved in I hoovered everything and I dettled it and I also put a mattress protector. Also on my bed you can see I have three cushions and I also have two blankets as well. I absolutely love being cosy at night so having lots of pillows and also lots of blankets in my room helps me to be able to keep cosy at night time. I also have a blanket and a pillow on my desk because it is this colour blue and it didn't really match my room so I just got this to make it a little bit nicer and a little bit more comfy because after sitting for a while at my desk on my laptop doing work it hurts my back a bit so having a cushion on there is quite nice. Normally I will substitute this cushion for one of the smaller ones on my bed though just because it can be quite big and it can get a bit annoying when I'm sat on the chair for a long time. Something that might seem really obvious is coat hangers although apparently not obvious to some because I know some people who actually moved to uni and forgot to get coat hangers. It's really important if you want to hang your stuff up in your cupboard that you have coat hangers. The next not so obvious item is this shoe rack. I just got this one from B&M. It's a little bit lacklustre at the moment because I haven't actually properly moved into my um, new house yet. So it literally has the shoes I was wearing today and also the slippers that my mum le has left here. Um, she says those are the slippers for when she comes to visit me so I'm just leaving them on the shoe rack but it's been so helpful last year at the beginning of last year I didn't take a shoe rack but my shoes just got abandoned like anywhere in the room and it just was a tripping ha hazard I was always tripping over shoes so then my uncle actually bought me the shoe rack and I was just so grateful and I could not live without the shoe rack now now the next thing you might not also think about is I got a pop-up laundry bin this is new for this year because we have our own washing machine in our house. Last year I took a laundry bag and I also got given a laundry bag in my freshers box. A lot of universities do that at Nottingham. At every single student accommodation they leave you a box and it actually had a free University of Nottingham laundry bag on the inside. The laundry bag was a lot easier to use last year because we didn't have our own washing machine in our flat. So we had to take it all the way down to the laundrette. But this is a lot easier for the house because I can just put all my laundry inside and I only have to take it downstairs. The next thing is a lamp. Most university accommodations will not come with a lamp and this is actually one that I bought new this year. Our house did actually come with lamps in every single room but I didn't like the lamp and it didn't match the colour of my room so I got this new one and I absolutely love it. This is the lamp that I used in first year and I still use it a bit now. It is just one of those domes with like fairy lights on the inside. It's actually quite bright and it doesn't have to be plugged in, it is only by batteries, so I had that on my desk during my first year. Next up in the lighting department is fairy lights. I don't have as many fairy lights up in my room this year than I did last year because I just don't have the space, but I have these peg ones up here and I have these rose gold ball ones along my bed and I also have some little dragonfly ones around my photos here. Fairy lights are such a good way to add character to a university room and I absolutely love just sitting and not having my lamp on and just having the fairy lights glow because it just is so lovely. Another thing while I'm over here is photos as well. As you can see I have lots and lots of photos from home. 
and I also have this photo of me and my sister in my windowsill and I also have some photos up here from when I went to Disneyland as well. It's really important to print out family photos because if you're ever feeling homesick you've got the photos right there. I printed out over 100 photos before I came to university. Finally in the bedroom there's just stuff to make your room look nice. So I have a lot of plants in my room this year. Last year I only had these two little plants but as you saw a couple weeks ago myself and my friend Charlie went to Ikea and we bought all of these plants. I also have this light box that my sister made me. Uh, it's just a small little light box and it's a Becca's room. I absolutely love it. It adds so much character to my room and as you saw I have the photos. I also have this little ring holder down here that my auntie got me and I have uh, Aladdin coasters as well because it just adds the character. Along with the Aladdin theme I have the genie lamp and I also have a photo of the genie over there. It's a photo frame but I decided not to put a photo in it because the genie's face was in it and I just loved it so much. I also have this little Highland cow. It reminds me of when I went to Glasgow and Edinburgh with my family a couple years ago. I'm also originally from Edinburgh so it reminds me of home. And then I have my little RCN water bottle and mug. Uh, it just, I just like having them on the shelf because it reminds me about the RCN and that I'm a student nurse. It just is really cute and I love it. And as you saw before I have the lamp. I also have this stuff over here. I have some bunting up as well to make my room look nice. Down here I have my giant teddy bear and I also have this little dream catcher and the my favourite thing in the room is my new tapestry which I got for this year. In your first year you probably wouldn't be able to have something like this because most student accommodations won't allow you to hang stuff up on the walls. I have used command strips to hang this up so I have been able to hang it up. You might be able to in your accommodation but I wasn't allowed last year so I had to get one this year and I absolutely love it. Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. I thought that it would be best to show you my kitchen stuff in the kitchen instead of hauling it all upstairs so I'm going to show you what I got for my kitchen. I want to say don't spend a lot of money on your kitchen stuff because in first year things are likely going to get broken or stolen. You will definitely start with like a full set of everything and then leave with not a lot of stuff. For me personally, I left with barely any cutlery because they just got used by other people in my flat and then not returned, sadly. But luckily I didn't spend a lot of money on all of my kitchen stuff. I managed to actually get a box full of loads of a variety of kitchen stuff from Ikea. So if you're in the market to get everything for your kitchen, have a look in Ikea. They normally do like a student starter box and a lot of the stuff that I'm going to show you actually came in that box. So it's definitely worth the money. So this is all of my kind of kitchen essentials. I just kind of got like one of everything out just to show you a mix of things. So firstly I want to start over here. I have a variety of these boxes. I use them to store food in after I've made like a big batch. And the good thing is, is that these ones, you can microwave them, you pop them open, you can microwave them so I can take them to placement and I can microwave the dinner that's in them. I also have a variety of frying pans and also saucepans. I also have a big wok. If you can't find a variety of saucepans and frying pans, I definitely say to get a big wok because you can pretty much cook anything in a wok. I also have a set of glasses and a couple of mugs and I swear by these. I like to eat a lot of soup. I just really, really like soup. So I have three of these actually because they're dead easy. You can just put them in the microwave and you can do soup in them. So in here I have a colander, um, a student essential would definitely be to get a colander. Student staple diet is pasta and you need to drain your pasta. Inside I have all of these kitchen utensils, most of them came in the Ikea box. So I have a whisk, have these pinches, they're very good for when you're cooking meat so you can pick it up out of the frying pan. I have this pasta spoon. a serving spoon, a plastic spatula, I also have a wooden spatula and a wooden spoon and inside I have an apple corer that came in with the Ikea stuff and it's actually really good for me because I only like to eat apples when they've been cut up so I can use that to cut my apples up. Over here I have a tea towel, I have a couple tea towels and I have this little 
um, like lasagna, pasta bake dish. It came in a set of two, so there's this little one and then there's a bigger one in case I want to make food for all of my flatmates. And I have this chopping board. I have a couple of chopping boards for different things because I don't want to cross contaminate stuff in the kitchen. So I have a few different chopping boards and I also have this set of two baking trays. Unfortunately, the ones that I took to uni last year got stolen. I never got them back. So I just got these ones from Aldi, I think. And they seem to be doing quite a good job so far. I also have this takeaway coffee cup. I don't drink coffee, but I drink a lot of tea. And if you use a reusable cup on any at any of the cafes at the University of Nottingham, you get money off your drink. So it's definitely worth getting these because they want to do the waste not, want not campaign. It's about reducing single use waste. I have all of these variety of measuring cups and spoons. And then here I have uh, metal straws. I have a lot of metal straws actually. I have loads of these rainbow ones, some silver ones. I recently got some Jeffree Star ones as well. Uh, cutlery. You want some forks, knives and spoons and some teaspoons. This is actually the only teaspoon that's surviving from my first year. I went into first year with six teaspoons and I've left with one. And here I have a bowl. This is just a plain bowl that came in the IKEA kit. I got four of those in the kit. And this also came in the IKEA kit, a can opener, a tin op yeah, a can opener, no, a bottle opener. It's not very good, so I got a more sturdy one. It's just a rose gold marble one. I got this from Sainsbury's. This also came in the IKEA kit. It's a tin opener. And we've also got a pizza cutter that came in the kit as well. And a veg peeler that also came in the IKEA kit. And then also some plates, just some normal dinner plates. It came up with four of those. And then I also have a set of cutting knives. It came with five knives. So that is everything from my kitchen. And two little bonus kitchen items. I have a slow cooker and a blender. I've not really used the blender a lot. I thought that I might use it for making cocktails and stuff, but I didn't really have a lot of opportunity to do that the last year. Hopefully I'll get to do that this year with my housemates who can make some daiquiris and stuff like that. But the slow cooker is so awesome. It's so good for preparing for meals for placement, especially while I'm on placement, I can leave it and then when I come back, everything's already for me. So I can make like chilies and at Christmas, we can do like hot chocolate when we have parties and things like that. It's really, really helpful. And I've absolutely loved having it um, in my first year. My next category is bathroom stuff. And I actually have a big old box of bathroom stuff in here. I'm not gonna go through individually all of the items, but I can tell you what I have in there. So I have flannels, have some hand towels. I have some bath towels in my cupboard. Uh, toilet roll, it's always good to have toilet roll. Um, buy it as a flat and keep it in the bathroom, but you never know um, when it's gonna run out. Somebody will use it all and not tell everybody, and then you go to the toilet and there's none in there. So it's always good to keep some in your room as well. Have my toothbrush and toothpaste, deodorant, soap, my hairbrush, my shower gel, shampoo and conditioner. And I think it's also important to keep your skincare. I actually keep my skincare on my desk, all organized, and I'll show you that in a minute, along with all of my makeup stuff. This is my little beauty and skincare section of my desk. Last year I actually had like a desk and a chest of drawers next to each other so I used the desk for actual academic stuff and then I used the chest of drawers for my makeup and stuff. However, I don't have this this year so I just have this desk so I've had to kind of split it in half. So I actually have all of my skincare that I use regularly in here. I'm using the Ballantine stuff at the moment and also the Glam Glow Galacta Cleanse. It's actually really nice and it smells really, really gorgeous too. And then I also have quite a lot of my makeup organized here. I have most of my makeup brushes, a few of my lipsticks. My main makeup is actually my everyday makeup. I keep in my makeup bag and I normally keep that underneath my desk. In here, I have lots of hand creams. This is the best for when you're on placement because it's really, really thick. I like to use it before bed and then like when I'm on the ward, I'll use something like this. I have a lot of hand creams because I go through a lot while I'm on placement and I also have my contact lenses, 
spare beauty sponges, tweezers and all sorts in there. My next category is kind of like study stuff, so this is what I use for studying and academic things, etc, etc. First off, I'd say to get a few course books, don't, do, don't go too crazy because you probably won't use any of them, but I swear by my A and P book, uh, it's the Totora one and I use it whenever I study anatomy and physiology and I also bought these two for cheap off a student nurse, look on Facebook, people who are graduating might sell stuff for cheaper and that's actually how I got a lot of my books. Next I use my diary and also I bought a wall planner for this year. A lot of my friends had them last year and they found them really useful so I got one as well. Sometimes I can forget to look at my diary but if this is on my wall I feel like I'm not going to be able to ignore it so I'm going to put it up in my bedroom as soon as I finish making this video. They seem really obvious but a lot of people will forget them. Get some notebooks. I like to use A4 notebooks in my lectures and I also like them when they've got these tabs in because then I can have multiple modules in one and not get confused. I just bought two for the time being but I'm probably I'm going to end up having to buy new ones. I also have some line paper. I like to study sometimes just in the line paper pad instead of actually in the notebooks. I tend to use these for lectures and then if I'm going to make any more notes when I get home I'll use just line paper. These two things have absolutely saved my life and they're not something that you would just think to pick up. So I have a budget planner. This is so so important and it definitely got me through last year because I didn't get that much student finance last year so I had to work on a tight budget and my first year I definitely learned about budgeting. So this is just, uh, you can do it week by week. It actually has like space to do quite a lot so you can do like pretty much two or three weeks on it depending on how much you're spending. Sometimes I could do a whole entire month just on one page. And then also I have this daily to-do list which I absolutely love because it also has up here about water intake and about my priorities for the day. You can write your menu and you can write about the highlights and then I can just rip it off and then there's a new one for the next day. Sometimes if there's nice highlights I like to cut them out and keep them because it's just something nice to look back on at the end of the year. I also have a couple of notebooks this size as well. These are my two absolute favourites. I use this one to put all of my YouTube ideas in and I'll probably end up using this one when this one gets full. I just couldn't help but pick them up because they were so cute and I got this one as a gift um, from my sister for my birthday. So I also have a few this size as well. Hung on the side of my desk I have this weekly like to-do list whiteboard so I can just wipe it off and reuse it every single week. Obviously if you're coming to university you're going to need some stationery so I just have this pot of pens. There was 50 in there, there's probably about 35-ish in there now and I also keep my scissors in there. I also have these little pots which have drawing pins and paper clips and bulldog clips in there. I have some plain pencils in here and also some little tab bookmarks. I like to use these in my course books to mark where important things are and I also have these desk organisers as well. I have these file organisers. This one keeps all of my notebooks and stuff in and then this is just miscellaneous stuff. I have some stuff from the RCN in there, a nursing standard, um, like takeaway menus and stuff like that. In this one I have these two little things I got from the London Zoo but also the rest of my stationery. So I have a hole punch, a stapler, extra staples. I got this highlight at the Freshers Fair and it still works. I have a calculator and I have this, these big post-it notes and then also a box of smaller ones and some sellotape. I also have a laptop folder on here as well and it's an absolute lifesaver when I'm studying for long hours on my laptop. More than likely where your plugs are is probably going to be on the opposite side to where your bed is at your student accommodation. That's what mine was like last year. So I had to use an extension cable and a two meter long iPhone cable to be able to reach my phone near my bed for when I went to go to bed. One of the most important things that I brought to uni with me was this extension cable and this extension cable actually has USB plugs in it as well so I can plug my charger in without needing a plug. I would also recommend getting a doorstop. This is just a plain little white doorstop and I actually got it as a gift when I left my job. They made me a freshers like survival pack and they put me this doorstop in and it absolutely saved my life last year. Um, one of the best ways to make friends at uni is just to 
open keep your door open at all times whenever you're in there if you don't need to be like private obviously um keep the door open with a door stop and people will pop their heads in introduce yourself i don't need it in the house because my door just stays open by itself but my one at the accommodation didn't because it was a fire door so this came in handy and it helped me to make lots of friends in my flat okay guys so that is all of the uni essentials that i have and, and i think every fresher should have that I found really useful in my first year of uni. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a single one of my videos. Thank you so much for watching, liking and sharing my videos. I really, really appreciate it. I will see you guys next week for another video.